So now we have a love story lost at sea. But how was the film? Let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Adrift. I really do appreciate it. So Adrift is based on a true story. And like I said in my intro, it is basically a love story uh, that is lost at sea. The film takes place in the 80s. I don't remember it specifying exactly what year, um, but I want to say either 1984 or 1988. Um, it stars Shane Lee Woodley. I'm pretty sure you guys know her. She was the main actor in Fault in Our Stars, which was a like a um, a teen romantic comedy, or no, I don't want to say a romantic comedy, but a romantic drama. And she was also in the Divergent series. I thought she did a great job in those series, but I just wasn't a fan of the material myself. Not that anything is wrong with it. Um, it just wasn't for me those young adult novels. It also stars uh, Sam Claflin who initially I wasn't too familiar with when I saw him on screen, but when I looked up his filmography, he's been in a lot of films that I'm familiar with, like the Hunger Games, like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and the Snow White and the Huntsman movies that came out just a couple of years ago. Um, now, this film is being directed by Baltasar Karmakur, and um, that's a very hard name to pronounce. Only other films that he has directed that I'm really familiar with is Two Guns, which came out in 2013 with uh, Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, and uh, Denzel Washington. I'm a you know big fan of Marky Mark and especially Denzel Washington, and I'm really looking forward to the Equalizer 2 that comes out later on this year. Um, so like I said, this is based on a true story, and it's just about a free-spirited couple. And what I mean by free-spirited is they really just don't care uh, they don't they don't care about bending to society and bending to the rules and just kind of following the um, the 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 so-called schedule of life that a lot of people uh, come to, you know, go to school, you graduate, you get married, you get a, a corporate nine to five job. No, 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 no. Uh, these two are just not like that. They're just going to just do whatever they want to do, um, you know, whether it's traveling the world for the rest of their lives or just, you know, living in a hut or whatever. Um, they just really don't. I mean, I don't want to say they're uh, rebellious and they, you know, go against the rules. They're just kind of just free spirit and have a different mindset of everybody else. And I can kind of respect that in a sense, because um you know, you just I just like people that just don't do the norm, you know, and just kind of, you know, wake up every morning without a schedule and just kind of let the wind carry them throughout life. And that's especially the case with Shane Lee's Woodley's character. Not only do we get to know her uh, at sea, of course, in a time of tragedy, but we do get some events in her early life. I believe she was 24 or 25 at the time. Um, so we do get some uh, brief moments of her early life. Again, this is a true story of just, you know, her everyday life and just kind of what motivated her to get up and, you know, brush her teeth every morning. Um, as far as the love story uh, part portion of the film, um, it was believable for the most part. Um, I really do feel like this couple was in love, even though it was short lived. Um, sometimes there's just a spark between people and there's just a chemistry uh, that can't be broken. And uh, I'm fond of that. And that was very apparent in this movie. And that's just another way that I was just able to um, attach myself to the characters. Um, an interesting thing technically about this film is 90 percent of it was filmed at sea. Um, that is a little bit unconventional, um, you know, in Hollywood. And this is, I believe, a thirty five million dollar production budget. You know, in Hollywood, you know, they just they normally well. They try to shoot on the stage when they when possible, um, you know, with and there's just a, I'm thinking about Black Panther right now, um, be, you know, because there was a lot of water scenes and no, they weren't in a lake or a river. You know, they just had a pond or something in the studio on, on set and with a blue, bunch of blue background. And I imagine that that can only go so far. And if you really want the image to captivate the audience and really sink them in, maybe the best way is to shoot at sea. So majority of the film was shot at sea. Um, it was kind of funny because it was started at 4 a.m. And it was a two and a half hour boat ride. 
right, from the mainland out to where they was trying to shoot, why they had to go out an hour and a half, I mean, two hours and a half, they couldn't go out 30 minutes, 45 minutes, hour and a half, I don't know. Uh, but I found that quite interesting. But uh, a daily shoot could last up to 12 hours. And there was reports that everybody on the film crew, except for the director and the cinematographer, so I'm assuming the entire cast too, just kept getting seasick and were just throwing up overboard, overboard. And, um, you know, I don't know if it was worth it. It would really suck if this movie didn't make any money. Um, this review is late, so, um, you know, you can check out my box office report that I'm going to be doing after this to see if uh, this could be worth it. But I just kind of found that interesting. Um, also, um, the role of Sam Claflin was going to be uh, taken over by Miles Teller, but he decided to drop out. Um, but, but enough with the technical things, not like I'm saying it's interesting, but, um, so you really got to know Shailene Woodley's character and let me go ahead and pay respect to the actress's name that actually did survive, um, in this tragedy. Um, her name is Tammy Oldman and Sam Claflin's character that he's playing is Richard Sharp. These are real life people. And um, I don't want to spoil anything for you, even though this is based on a true story and you can just look it up because I didn't necessarily know the outcome uh, when I saw it. So I won't spoil anything there. Um, but I did. I, 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 it was nice to really get to know Shailene uh, Woodley's character uh, that she was playing Timmy. I really did uh, believe the love story um, that these two uh, people had to go through. I'm not saying that this is this is like a notebook love story like that good. Like, oh, my God, I wish I found love like these two. No, it wasn't anything like that. I just, you know, I, I believed it. It didn't uh, come across as corny. Um, the acting by Shailene Woodley in this film was uh, fantastic. Um, there was times to where she was really delirious and hallucinating out there trying to survive, uh, scavenging for food, just not knowing um, if she was to survive or not. And it was very convincing. She really did look terrified in some moments like she was just losing her mind and freaking out. I mean, just imagine that you're like lost at sea with no land in sight. You have no food, no communications. You're going to lose your S-H-I-T a number of times. And uh, I, I did believe that. So um, that was good there. Uh, one of the more other impressive things about the film was the uh, transition of time going back and forth in between timelines. And what I mean is they had the present day of showing, well, not present day in the past, you know, of the film of showing Sam, Shailene Woodley's character trying to survive and make do and just do whatever she can to find the boat. I mean, find things, supplies around the boat to survive, but it also jumps back in time to tell everything that led up to the accident that led into the hurricane because the crash, the crash, the, the boat capsized, uh, capsized and, um, you know, that's where they lost everything for the most part and were trying to survive. And it was done by a hurricane and it was one of the, the most uh, dangerous or um, deadly hurricanes in recorded history. Um, so that's that. And well, I said, that's that like, in this time, you know, so they the film would transition back and forth from the present day to uh, events that led up to the hurricane. And so, you know, them jumping back and forth like that could be drawing. But I thought it was a smooth transition um, for the most part. And every time they came back to the present day, to, we could see how Shane Lee Woolley's character was progressing. She was uh, like age older and older. She was, I want to say only out there. She was out at sea. Uh, for about 41 or 44 days, which is it seems like an eternity. But every time they cut back to her, her hair would be longer. She would look sicker, dirtier and things like that. And I just kind of thought that was an interesting touch just to kind of really show the severity of her situation and just how stressful, you know, her entire environment was and everything that she was going through. So good job there. Another great thing about this film was there was a lot of long camera shots uh, that did not break underwater as well. It, it, it was done... Um, uh, with, with um, nice clarity, you could understand what was going on when the camera was above water, how it wouldn't break going underwater and just kind of showing how they were surviving and things like that, especially during the hurricane. So uh, that was great. A lot of long, wide and sweeping shots surround the boat just to kind of give you the scope of the environment and just kind of like, you know, like really they are really just lost to sea. So I, I really do like that. Um, I talked about the hallucinating as well, and you just have a strong respect for uh, Shailene's witness character, Tammy Oldman, who is still alive today that um, that had to go through all this. She was the saving, 
she saved the day. Uh, something that I would have just was not fond of is the film came in at around an hour and 36 minutes. Um, you know, that's not a long time. That's only 96 minutes. But at the same time, there were a few moments where the film did drag a little bit and I did lose interest. I'm just kind of saying to myself, OK, is this really necessary to show like every day of her being out there? I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit. They didn't, you know, the film didn't go one day, two day, three day, four day like that. But there were just some times where I, I kind of wanted them to pick it up just a little bit. And my interest did kind of uh, fade away just a bit. But overall, guys, I thought it was a great film. I did enjoy it. Uh, I went to go see this with my mother. Uh, she enjoyed it too. Um, at the very end of the film, they did um, have some real life shots of the character um, Tammy Oldman or whatever. And I just got to say, hey, respect to you, my sister. Um, because I don't know if I would have been able to do what you did. And, um, you know, uh, you are a hero. Again, I'm not going to spoil the ending. You're just going to have to see it for yourself if you do not know the story. If I had to rate a drift out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. Um, but guys, that is just my opinion uh, for a drift. What did you think? You know, have you, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also go um, check me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for a drift. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Kithavery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.